fantastic concert. We had a great time. Don't think if I'm a couple minutes late, it's going to be the end of the world. Well, we're back in Canada, technically. But look at how foggy it is. Hello everybody and welcome back to this and I have an idea. My name is Heidi and today is the second day of November, the second day of NaNoWriMo, and we have a very big day. Not only are we going to be continuing writing, but I have my first big event of the month that is not writing or NaNoWriMo related. Tonight I am seeing my favorite country music artist, Russell Dickerson. This will be the fifth time that I have seen him in concert and I am so looking forward to it. My sister and I are going. It starts at about 7.30 tonight and it is a little bit after... 12:40 right now so we got a little bit of time to get everything done before the concert starts but i oh i cannot wait for the concert tonight i am wearing my russell dickerson t-shirt i have a lot of his clothing uh, his merch that i could have worn i have options i have six different russell shirts i'm feeling this vintagey vibe today maybe that russell shirt <laughs> and then that one and we also have two sweaters this one's like a camo got that one. We're going with this one because this one is from his 2020 tour to which I saw him in Buffalo. And if you know those dates in 2020, you know that everything shut down on the 13th. So I think that this was his last concert that he played before the pandemic. And I got to see him and I got to meet him at that concert too. And if you don't think that I am a big fan of his, you can just see my signed Russell Dickerson collection right there. I have the signed vinyl, which I ordered online, uh, a signed calendar, which came in as a freebie in one of my orders that I placed online, and his signed debut album. When I met him the first time, I got a picture. I met him in London, Ontario at Rock the Park. So sweet. One of the best sets that I have ever seen of his and I was so close to the stage but the second time that I met him not only did I bring a new copy of the CD for him to sign but I also brought a picture the picture of me meeting him the first time and I had him sign that as well If you saw yesterday's video, you know we had an amazing first day this year. I wrote 10,077 words yesterday, completed the first three chapters of the book, and got about 758 words into chapter four. I have never sat this pretty with my word count this early on in the month, but this year we're changing things up. I want everything to go super smoothly. I would love, absolutely love to hit those 50,000 words within the first week or two of NaNoWriMo and just continue going from there. The most unachievable goal that I have almost challenge myself to do but kind of not if I get close to finishing this challenge then I may consider it a challenge but this is the the legendary status the legendary goal of NaNoWriMo and that would be to complete the entire manuscript in the month of November. I know it is kind of unachievable in terms of the pace that I like to write at but I think it would be a fun challenge since I've already completed three and a half chapters in just one day alone and I'm only planning to write about 27 chapters chapters in total. If I finished a chapter a day for the rest of the month, I could finish this manuscript. And who knows, I could do another couple 10k or at least 5k days that could push me even closer to getting there sooner. I'm not going to be sending this as a full-on challenge for myself. If for some reason though, I get close to the end of the manuscript before the end of the month, I may actually make it my challenge and my goal. It is almost one o'clock right now. So what I'm gonna be doing is rereading my chapter that I've already written for chapter four, going through my notes that I have for the chapter. That way I know exactly where I want to end this one and do a sprint. We're gonna sprint for, I'm thinking about an hour, see if we can try to finish up this chapter or at least get a really, really good chunk of the work done. We did a pretty good sprint, about an hour, and we ended so far with 1,245 words, pushing us to 11,322. Right, so as you saw, we wrote 1,245 words, but for this, I'm going to be adding in the entire total, and I'm feeling really good about that. Just update the progress. There we go. We have our 1,245 words for today. Everything is looking fantastic. That line is increasing. We'll see how much farther we can get. We'll try to get the daily par today, which would be the 1667. One thing we did unlock was the new badge, the two-day streak. So that'll be the only badge that we're going to get today. 
that's completely fine but we got another one time is going by so quickly that was an entire hour's worth of writing and i feel like i wrote nothing i did a couple of scenes within the chapter uh, i've started a new conversation at the very end in total the chapter is 2003 words we still have quite a ways to go until it is finished we have this interaction with this villain character and then we're going to end it i also have to reconnect a scene earlier on in the chapter with the ending part just because i had the idea it was fresh in my mind for the ending part and i thought if i don't write this right now i'm going to forget it and that is how i got most of my words in for this print let's do something non-writing related for a little bit so many beautiful colors i have made an error a very big miscalculation on my part i forgot that today was the first in-person write-in until like a half an hour ago, not even. So I quickly slapped on a layer of makeup, threw on my jacket, grabbed my laptop, which I needed the, the charging cord. Then I realized my phone was at 67%. So I needed to bring my external battery or my backup battery so I could charge it while I'm there. And now I am rushing downtown to go to the cafe that we meet up at. It's a coffee shop cafe uh, to go see everybody and write in person. Luckily, I had the foresight to save my Scrivener document, make sure everything was backed up properly. That way, when I get there, all I have to do is let my Dropbox sync so I can then uh, go in and access the document. But man, I can't believe I almost forgot it. I was I was looking so forward to it too. Right now it is almost three o'clock. It is 2.58. I need to be there for three o'clock. That's when it starts. I, I think I'll be okay if I show up a couple minutes late. I don't like being late though. I like being there right on time. But normally that group of folks tends to kind of drift in at random times. So I don't think if I'm a couple of minutes late, it's gonna be the end of the world. It's nice and sunny out, but it's also a very gloomy day. Like there is a thick layer of fog uh, in my neighborhood. And as I'm getting closer to the coffee shop cafe, it is getting brighter out, which is nice. We are here, we arrived in the parking lot. Also, I just put my car key in my pocket and I found my missing pair of clip-on sunglasses. I have two. All right. What a day so far. Let's head on over. I actually gotta pay for parking first, but after that, let's head on over. All right, this area of downtown is so pretty, even though they're doing construction. So much fun. Got to see everybody. There was how many of us there? One, two, there's five of us all together, and there's a group of people on the other side of the cafe that weren't participating. They just weren't sitting with us today. It was a lot of fun. I got 405 words written. Not a lot, but since I've already hit the goal for the day, we're doing great. Now to go home and get ready for the concert. It is quite foggy out. Alright, we are on our way to the concert. I'm with Emily. Can you say hello at least? Hello. Hello. Uh, we need to cross the border though because the concert is in Buffalo and we are very much Canadian. Uh, it is very, very foggy out right now. So it looks a lot darker than it is, but it is only 6.16. So the concert starts at 7.30. We're gonna get there with lots of time to spare. And some of my coworkers are actually gonna be there. So I'll get to say hey to them as well. All right, let's go cross the border. Can we get those cell phone lights up tonight, Buffalo? Yeah, we got a chance to 
Fantastic concert, we had a great time. Well, we're back in Canada technically, but look at how foggy it is. Not focusing. I know, it's because it's the fog, it's crazy. There's only two cars ahead of us, but you can only really see one. Oh, there's a second one. <laughs> we are back after an amazing concert. Russell, Russell put on a great show today. The way that the concert was set up is that all three acts came out at the same time. Russell Dickerson from right center stage. We had Low Cash on stage right, and we had Parmalee on stage left. Everything was beautiful. They kind of went in sets of three. So Russell would sing, Parmalee would sing, Low Cash would sing, and they had amazing banter between all of the three. Russell sang his new song, Blame It On Being Young, and I initially didn't like part of it, but hearing him sing it live, I literally had chills chills all throughout my body. I got a little bit teary-eyed too because it was just so good. Yes, now we are back. It is, what time is it? 11.29. Almost, almost midnight. My laptop today did a fantastic job at the write-in. She did not fail. Everything was updated and beautiful. But I realized after I crossed the border that I still have 17 words left to write, I think, before I hit like the actual daily par. We are 17 words away from hitting it. So I'm going to have everything sync and I'm going to write those 17 words, maybe a little bit more. And then we're going to call it it for today. So I'll be right back with my last word update. <laughs> We are just going to make it in in time. We hit 12,000 words, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, we gotta update the website quickly. Otherwise, it is going to be the next day and we are going to miss it. So we are now at 12,018 words. This total word. Oh, where do we go? 12,018. Feeling great about that. Uh, I wrote these ones at home on a laptop. I definitely was an hour. It's more like, what was it, 11.30? 11.30 maybe? I can't remember. There we go. 12,018 words. We are looking mighty fine. Oh, today was a good day. The 12,000 words have pushed me over the edge. I have finished chapter four. The last little bit needs a, quite a bit of editing in terms of putting in all the proper punctuation and maybe connecting a couple sentences, but all of the main words are there. We're sitting really, really pretty so far. We have the rest of the book to go. Chapter five will be tomorrow. My goal for tomorrow probably will be all of chapter five. We'll see how that goes though. But that is gonna be it for today. The concert was absolutely fabulous. The local write-in was absolutely fabulous. Everything else about today was great. We got so many words in. Day two of NaNoWriMo has been an absolute success. Thank you for coming along the journey with me. I will be back tomorrow with another writing update. So you will see me then. And until then, happy writing. Bye. I'd really just take a speedo for 500, please. <laughs> so, uh, okay, settle down, lady. Hey, it's not always about what's on Russell, the get your mom out of here. Is that Russell's mom again? <laughs> again. She's, She's a huge, huge fan. She's getting a little crazy. She was in Miami with me.